Hi, good evening and welcome. I'm Roland from Spice and Pants, and today I have with me Pei Wen from Share Food. Hello, I'm Pei Wen from Share Food. Thank you so much for inviting me to this live cooking show today. I'm very, very honored to be here. You know, every time when I come to live show with Roland, I know I will be very well fed. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. So, uh, so Roland, what will you be cooking today? All right. Um, today, we'll be showcasing what EB can provide over here. Mm -hmm. Very convenient food, very versatile, very tasty, and every single one is Zhen Cai Si Liao. Oh. Um, I've tried EB food before, um, and they are really wonderful in terms of taste, texture, and value for money, I'll put it this way. Oh, wow. That's everything that you know all the home cooks are looking for. Yes. There are really a lot of different products, and there are so many different kinds of packaging. And I think I just overheard that you know, like there is a Hei Jing Si Lie over here. Are those in the black packaging? Yes. So they have the um, Hei Jing Si Lie, they have the Dim Sum Si Lie, the Prawn Pei Si Lie, like what you see over here. Mm -hmm. These are the Golden Crispy Prawn Cake. These are excellent, by the way. Really, really good. Ooh. Right? Then we have the Tiger Prawn Roll, which I will be showcasing later in one of my recipes. Mm -hmm. We have the Shrimp Wonton. These are really good very crunchy prawns and we have a lot of versatile ingredients over here that makes mm. excellent hot pot or even if you are creative enough you can make your own wonderful dishes which mm. we'll be showing to you later amazing i think the first look uh, on this product right what i really like about this is that they are actually shaped very beautifully so for example if we are looking at this uh how do i call this the prawn paste yes my tuan Yes. Prawn paste, right? They're shaped in like some dainty leaf shape and so pretty. And I realized that there is like, of course, the original flavor. Then I think what you're seeing right here is actually the truffle flavor as well. Truffle, Ooh. oh my God. Whoever that loves truffle fries, you know, this is something that you should look at. Then of course, the other one, maybe Roland, can you show us what is that? Yes, this is the fish roll prawn paste. Yep. So for the truffle as well as the fish roll prawn paste, these are special edition only for Chinese New Year. So grab them while they last. Wow, this is a very important piece of information, guys. Please, you know, listen up. Keep this in your mind because we is part of the answer for a giveaway later. Yep. Don't say I never tell you. Uh. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. So, so back, this, yes. Yeah, amazing, amazing product. And actually, to be honest, right, mm. the reason why, you know, I... I really wanted to join you in this live today, right? It's because I'm really starting to think about what should I cook for Chinese New Year? Because yes. Chinese New Year is only... Uh, two weeks, three weeks away? Two weeks, yeah. three weeks away. I'm already getting a bit gancho. <laughs> so actually, right, I have a challenge mm -hmm. because I just moved to my new house. Okay. And now my kitchen, right, is only one third of what I used to have. Okay. So it's very important that, you know, while I still whip out a lot of dishes, you know, for my whole family, same quantity, same number of people, mm -hmm. but I need to minimize the whole food preparation. Yes. So actually, when you told me that, you know, you'll be creating, you'll be sharing with me, like, you know, really simple but delicious, as always, spice and pans recipe are really good as always, <laughs> right? And it's cooked using EB food, you know, which are amazing, mm -hmm. very simple to prepare. I'm really excited to see mm -hmm. what you'll be whipping up today. Okay, um, yeah. today for my very first dish, I'll be doing the seafood soup. Um, mm -hmm. The very good thing about EB food, right, is they are prepared already and it's very flavorful and it's very easy to, to create new dishes with it. Of course, the simplest way is to have steamboat, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, actually, what I'm trying to do over here is to create new ways um, using EB food to come up with more interesting recipes and very, very easy way, mm -hmm. uh, very basic ingredients to make it taste good, ah. right? Because like you, right, um, mm -hmm. normally for Chinese New Year, I will be sleeping in the kitchen. I will have like... 30, 40 mm. packs coming to my house. I will wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, start cooking, preparing, preparing until 11, 12 a.m. in the evening itself. So I have a lot of guests coming in, which I love. I love to have people coming into my place. I love to cook for them. I love to feed them. This is something that I'm always doing. Mm. right? And with EB food, right? Um, I discovered that actually, if you're creative enough, all right, if you're creative enough, you can be a master chef. Oh, I like that. It, it is true. Okay. It is true. It is true. And it's super, super, super easy. Mm. Right? Um, shall we start or should maybe let's see who's there? Um, yeah. if anyone is there watching, uh, please do come in and say hi to us. We love to say hello to you. Mm. And please do like and share, right? Yes. Uh, the more the merrier. Uh, we have some very nice giveaway today, right? Yes, correct. Actually, we have got a lot because it's Chinese New Year and EB, the good people from EB Food, right, has actually prepared a lot of gifts. 
Okay, so before we fire up the kitchen, you know, I've got a few very exciting news to share with you. So firstly, if you look at our rolling credit, right, you know, we are actually doing a giveaway for this entire one and a half uh, hours show. Okay, so three of you who are watching right now, you could be one of the winner. Okay, so uh, the very first uh, question that we have in our question at the bottom, right, is that which other item are EB Foods limited edition for Chinese New Year? Can I give them a hint? Actually, we have already given them the answer if they were in here earlier. But not to worry, later when we are cooking the dish, okay, Roland will be sharing with you again. So remember to stay tuned with mm. us. Okay, so, uh, so if you are the winner, for if you guessed it correctly, remember to like, to share and to comment the right answer. Okay, then you will send a chance to win the uh, prom paste bundle set. Okay, that is worth about $30, mm. which is amazing. Okay, so, oh, I see people answering already. Oh, that's like, fast. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Amazing. Hello, everyone. Sorry, my La Hua Yin is a little bit, uh, I see Cindy, I think. Uh, yes. yes. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Joyce. Yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, friends are coming in to, to watch us. Correct. And I can see that their ears are very short because they have gotten the right answer, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So remember, throughout this whole show, remember to like and share and answer you know, the question in a comment box and you will stand a chance to win the amazing hampers. Mm. Okay, so that is our very first question. And subsequently, we're going to release a question two and question three subsequently. Mm. Okay, that's not all, okay? Because EB Food, right, has got a, a special channel that we have started out with Shopee. And in our Shopee itself, right, there's a lot of amazing deals for our dim sum set, for our prom pay set, and for our hot pot set as well. Um, you are going to... You're going to have hot pot, right? For yes, sure. Definitely. I mean, it's easy. You just boil a pot of chicken soup, just put everything in and everybody can enjoy it. That's easy. And I, I heard also from the good people from EB today, actually, we have some nice discount for the followers of Spice and Pens, right? Oh, yes. yes. Um, I think we have a 5% off for every $30 purchase. Mm -hmm. And there's a promo code inside there is EBFOSNP. So Ew. it's EB. F O S N P. Mm -hmm. Can right. we show the promo code, please? Yes, okay. exactly. That is that. So this discount is an additional. So the bundle deal on Shopee is already discounted price. So all this bundle are specially created. You know, just order just and buy. have it delivered to your home for you. Okay. And on top of that, already discounted. Huh? Then on top of that, right, you can get a 5% discount when you use this special promo code for Spice and Pants Fits. Mm. Okay, so remember to stack up your promo. Okay, then on top of that, right, I think what is very exciting for me, right, is to be receiving the very first Ang Pao of the year. Yes. Okay, usually you receive your first Ang Pao, maybe the earliest will be 2C, right? Yes. Yeah, but now if you buy or the EB food, dun -dun, you will be receiving this Ang Pao. Sure win. Pao Ying the. Okay, it's limited to the first 888 orders. Okay, listen carefully. Yeah. It's not the first 888 customers, but the first 888 orders. Which means to say, the more you purchase, the more Ang Pao you will receive. Okay, so the Ang Pao, right, will come in a denomination of $1.88 to 800, 800, dollars Sorry, I'm just too excited already. Okay, so... Purchase more, okay, and increase your chance of winning, okay. And this ang pao, right? You know, EB food are very high tech, okay. So it's not just like cash. You receive this ang pao, and within this ang pao, right, you receive these two things. Let me see what is this. Uh, next, oh, next purchase. Right. So up on top of the ang pao, right, you will actually get this um additional five percent discount off your next purchase. Mm. Okay, amazing. So many discounts, I'm very excited. And the next thing that you will receive, maybe we can have Roland to help us open up. Right. So for this, right, when you open it up, you can actually see a QR code inside here. Ah. Scan this and you have a chance to win up to $888. Yeah. So this ah, is... Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this is a DBS digital Ang Pao. Mm. Amazing. So if you want to get your very first Ang Pao of the year, Okay, please place your order right now on our Shopee platform. Okay, yeah. So, um, do we have any questions from the floor regarding the promotion right now? 
Let me see if we have any questions. I think a lot of our fans are busy uh, answering the question. And I think a lot of people have gotten it correct. Yeah. Uh, your fans are very smart, you know? They are, they are. I mean, yeah. I love them. Without them, I'm nowhere. <laughs> I'm a nobody actually. Yes. Yeah, Roland and thanks for all the support, uh, seriously. Yeah. yeah. I think the fan support is the one that keeps you going. How long have you been running Spice and Tense channel? Four years plus, five years. Four yeah. years? Wow, yeah. that's really I mean, long. Their, their, their beautiful comments has always kept us going, um, kept us wanting to share even more, mm. um, and kept pushing myself to 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 better heights, to greater heights, uh, yeah. in learning more things in order to share with them also. Amazing, right. amazing. And of course, with food like EB, nowadays, I mean, cooking is so much easier. Um, I know how to make prawn paste on my own also, but it will take a lot of time. You need to mm. chop up the prawns, you need to smash the prawns here and there, and I mean, if you don't do it properly, you might just make a mess out of the kitchen. And mm. now it's so easy. And the best part is what? It can be cooked frozen. We just pop it up, I'll show you how it looks like in a while. Amazing. Right? Yeah. Now you don't even have to wait for it to thaw. Mm. Wow. So, Interesting. without further ado, shall we start the cooking part? Yes, let's go. All right. So, this is a very, very simple and straightforward dish, the seafood soup itself. Um, I have with me over here approximately one and a half liters of um, chicken stock. You can, of course, make your own chicken stock, but if you are um, if you want to purchase, make it easier, you can buy ready-made chicken stock. And there are a lot of choices in the market, huh? right? Ranging from one liter, four dollars, to those um, slightly more high-end collagen-filled mm. uh, chicken stock that cost maybe $20 for half a litre itself. Mm. So feel free to use any of this, no problem at all. So all I have to do right now is just turn on the heat and let this come to a boil, okay? So the main ingredients for this, of course, is EB food. The prawn paste, I will use it for the soup. And for the seafood beancurt roll, I'll be air frying them until it's crispy and I'll dip this inside the soup. And this is fantastic. I think you can try this later, mm. all right? In the meantime, let me just open this up and put this inside the air fryer. I'll just mm. air fry this for approximately 10 minutes at maybe 180 degrees. Mm. All right? Can you show us how it looks like first? Sure. Because I'm really curious how it looks like. So this was frozen and you just took it out from the fridge. Mm. So the, the best part about TV food, right, is really the taste is really good. I mean, I, when I say it's really good, I really do mean it. All right, this is how it looks like. Very mm. simple, little when I actually air fry it, you puff up a little bit, mm. all right? Of course, you can deep fry it, but what I'm showing you over here is, I mean, Chinese New Year, right? I want to be dressed in my nicest clothes. I want to go there. I want to sashay a little bit. I mean, <laughs> show, show my friend how well dressed I am. So I don't want to really, um, I mean, have oil all over my body yes. and smell of oil and stuff like that. I so, totally feel you. Yeah, so yeah. I just want to make it as simple as possible. So with this, I will just pop it inside the air fryer. So this is a seafood beancurt roll. Yes. So it's beancurt on the outside and you have the seafood paste, seafood in the paste on the inside yeah. already. And trust me, if you really want to make something like this, like this will take you a lot, a lot of time. Yeah. Really I'm very sure. I think we did one of the show before, right? Yeah. The, we did the paste and after that yeah. we wrap it up. Yeah, that was one of the show that we did. Correct. Yeah, it was a lot of effort. And now we're just like cooking it frozen and air frying it. Yeah. It's so convenient. And without breaking into a sweat, actually. It's, it's just that simple and convenient. Yeah. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you want something that's delicious, if you want something that's easy to cook, and you want something to impress your friend with, EB will be the choice. Let me just put this in a air fryer. Pop it to about 10 minutes at 150, 160, around there. We we'll let this air fry. I'll just put this aside. Apart put from air frying, on. right? Yes. Can we put it? Uh, can we deep fry it? Let's say we don't can. have an air fryer at home. Definitely, you can mm. actually um, air fry it or put it inside your toaster oven. Not a problem at all. Ah. But of course, same thing. If you deep fry, then of course there'll be more oil, and you need to clean up the kitchen. Mm. So what I'm trying to do over here is for the modern family itself, um, especially right now during this um, COVID pandemic when we can mm. only have five guests at a time. Mm. Um, I used to cook a huge buffet feast for my friends. You yeah. see, yeah, 30, 40 come at the same time. Everybody go for lunch together and after that they rest, they have a drink together and then everybody go for dinner together again. And I really have to make a mess out of my kitchen. But mm. now, um, during this COVID period itself, my friend will come five, four or five every two, three hours. One group go, one group come. They need to make an appointment with me. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Not so easy to come inside my house. You need a book time slot. Uh. Yes. So when they come, right, I need to cook something for them, right? Yeah. I, even if I were to practice what I used to do last time, right? Mm. Um, cook a big feast itself, by the time the third party, the fourth party or the fifth party comes, the food will be 
extremely cold. Ah. Yeah, so that's where EB food comes in. It's mm. very convenient, easy to cook. Mm. All you got to do right now is I just need to heat this up. Yeah. Pop in a few ingredients. Um, mm. Besides EB, of course, if you want to make your soup look a little bit more richer, a little bit richer, you can actually add in sea cucumber, which I'll be doing so also. You can yeah. add in um, black fungus, shredded black fungus, um, tofu, whatever. Mm. It's, so it's really very, anything. Very yes. Yeah, I think one of the things, um, you know, I always enjoy home cooking and I like it when people invite me, mm. you know, when you do home cooking. It's because sometimes, you know, because your friends know you, right? Mm. Then you'll add ingredients that you like. Yes. You can customize to your taste, but True. and I think this is what Roland does it very well. And yeah. I'm sure like, that's why he needs to book time slot, right? Because <laughs> everybody wants to go his house and makan, right? Yep. Yeah. So same thing over here. This one um, in Chinese, we call it haisian kan. All right, which mm. is basically seafood thick soup. Mm. All right, um, if you want to make this into a um, hot and um, sour soup, suan la tang, very simple. Just oh, add in vinegar that. and chili oil. Ah. Simple. So good food is not really about spending a lot of time in the in, in the kitchen itself. It's about being creative. All right, mm. knowing what goes with what, and the best is the most important thing is what it must taste good. All right, it must taste good. Yeah. Ingredients must be fresh. Everything must be good. Mm. All right, and I mean. You know, EB food, right? For your prawn paste, I've really tasted it a few times already. And mm. I, I love it. Even my wife, Jamie, says that it is the crunch is very good. It, actually, a secret. She'd say that actually this tastes better than what I did. <gasps> <laughs> wow. So this is really nice. Yeah, this is really nice. Then in that case, when you just buy this pack, right? It saves you the trouble of going to the wet market, choosing, you know, yeah. the ingredients, preparing it, etc. Wow. Jamie, how can you say that to Roland? <laughs> well, she's my biggest critic and that's how we learn, right? I mean, oh, yes. yeah, someone needs to tell me how I choose, can improve myself because I don't believe in, uh, don't believe that anybody can be perfect, right? Mm. Right. So, right, back to EB. All right. So mm. today I'll be using the um, prawn paste, the basic prawn paste for this, all right, for, for the soup. Um, after we boil this, I'll be putting in some other ingredients um, like sea cucumber. Mm. Right. It is a very fast, easy um, way to cook your soup, actually. Mm. So while waiting for this to boil, you can actually go back to your um, living area, to I mean your living room, to chat with your friend, have a drink with them. Mm. When it starts to smell the, the soup boiling, then comes in, then pop in all the ingredients, right? It is mm. very, very simple. Amazing. We just need this to heat up a little bit. Mm. All right, Do you think we can open things. up and take a look? How sure. does this look like? Sure. Yeah. So look how beautiful Ooh, this is. This is how it looks like. Yeah. It's a bit slippery for me mm -hmm. because of my glove. Ah, yes. Right. So Ooh. all you have to do later is just very simple. Mm -hmm. Just press and pop this in, into the soup. Right. Mm. Very simple. So just now you mentioned mm. that we don't have to thaw it. We don't have to. So and it is best cooked when it's frozen. Yes. So what happens if we accidentally like leave it, you know, on our countertop? Mm. For then, too long, right? Yeah. Then, it, then I will advise in that case itself, just use a spoon to scoop it up. Because mm. when it's actually frozen, it's so much easier to pop it in and it's oh. not messy. And after that, you can see the design is very nice. If mm. you can see it behind over here, oh. right? That's, that's those leaf design is, is beautiful. I tell you, really, it's beautiful. That's really it's, nice. It's very beautiful, yeah. So let me just put this aside first. Sure. Or rather, let me just leave this in the fridge for a while first while waiting for this to boil. Can. I think one thing, you know, looking at the EB food product, right? One thing I really like is that they put a lot of effort into shaping it. You know, I, I always feel that when it comes to like any festive season, you know, I mean, Christmas is Christmas. Chinese New Year is Chinese New Year. Sometimes to a lot of people, it's just another day. But let's say if you really want to feel the excitement, you know, of the festive, right? You know, you need to dress up a little bit, you know, by dressing up. For example, mm -hmm. you know, like cooking great dishes like what yes. Roland does. And I think importantly, when we look at our food, right? You know, like imagine a ball of prawn paste versus a prawn paste that is shaped in leaf shape. Yeah. Or even like a bean curd that's shaped in flour. I think that makes a lot of difference visually first, then followed by your tummy being yeah. fat. You know, and being very satisfied for the whole process. Mm. I think that is extremely important. Yes. Yeah. And I think Chinese New Year is a time where good friends, families gather together to enjoy mm. time together, mm. to, to, to talk about their dreams, what they want to do in the future, and how they have actually performed the past itself to reflect actually basically. Mm. And what is better, what is not a better time actually than to 
I mean, enjoy good food together, have a few drinks together. I mean, talk about all this thing and I mean, just talk about the good old days and things like that. And to be very frank, I, if, you, if I look back in onto how my dad or my mom actually prepare um, New Year um, dinner during their time itself, there's a lot of effort being done. Like just now I explained about the prawn paste itself, how much effort it is to actually make the prawn paste itself. Um, the Ngo Hyang, if you look at my video, I mean, mm. you chop up here, your hand got blisters and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, everything is not... Is, is there and to be frank the taste is good i i this one i really really say so uh, it's, mm. it's not just because um eb wants me to come here then i say that that food tastes good it, mm. it's not that you try it if it's not good then you send an email to me right mm. uh, i can i can bet you that the taste is as good if not better than those two tatua outside also mm. it's really 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 authentic mm. yeah and it's super versatile super versatile mm. all right the soup is uh, starting to boil I'm smelling a lot of things in the kitchen right now. Yeah. The soup and even in the air fryer, right? While the being cut, the seafood being cut is being air fried. I can mm. really smell it already. Yeah. So I'm just, just adding in a sea cucumber. Um, what I'm using over here, the sea cucumber are not of those uh, very thick, high quality type. Because if we want to make soup, we just want to slice it thinly just for the texture. Ah. So you don't have to spend something like $50 per kilo, $80 per kilo on mm. this kind of sea cucumber. For this, I think 350 grams is like seven bucks only. Is this the fresh one or the dried one that you soak These it? These are actually frozen type. Oh, the frozen type? Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. So this, you can easily get this from um, any supermarket. All right. Okay. So this is about 200 grams of it. We just mm. put it in. Is there any difference uh, when the uh, for the different forms of the sea cucumber? Mm. So for yes. example, is there any texture different You know, when we uh, buy the dried ones, buy the frozen ones, or we yes. buy the fresh ones? Is there any difference? Yeah, there, there's a lot of... Um, different um, varieties of um, sea cucumber. Mm. All right, of course, you can get it from the um, from, from the market, those that are so-called already pre-soaked and, and, and they sell it uh, after it's soaked. Of course, you can soak it yourself also. Mm. Um, prices ranging from maybe $20 per kilo all the way to a couple of hundreds per kilo itself, all depending on the grade, right? right. So how do you choose a, a good sea cucumber? Basically, um, after soaking, right, it has to be thick. Yeah. And it has to have this very bouncy kind of QQ kind of a feel. Mm. All right. Um, the most important thing is sea cucumber, you cannot braise it for too long. You cannot oh. cook, cook it for too long. Otherwise, right. by the time you finish cooking, you will not be able to see any of it. It will just melt off inside your soup. Oh, yeah. is there like an optimum timing that we can braise it? All depends on your sea cucumber. Like for this itself, right? Mm. Five, ten minutes is good enough. Ah, right, because okay. it's just cooked, we want to have the crunchy texture yeah. and it's done. Mm. Right? For bracing itself, in order for the flavor to come in, you can actually um, brace it for approximately 25 30 minutes. Ah. And it'll be nice too. Yeah. Okay. So okay. if you want to mix something like Heisen Ya, right? Mm. Don't put everything together and boil it for one and a half hours. After that, you will not see your sea cucumber. You might start to blame your wife, your husband, yeah. hey, who has been eating my sea cucumber? Like your hundred over dollars sea cucumber is exactly. like melted in your yeah. gravy. That is a very, very good tip. And we have a question from Iris. Do we need to rinse them before we cook it? Yes. Please do wash it up. Um, the, when, you, when you look at the sea cucumber, right, it's actually cut. Um, the, the stomach is actually being sifted already. So all you've got to do is just use your thumb, just rub it through. All the sands, the intestine, whatever, just clean it up. Mm -hmm. Just wash it lightly. Gently with water and then just leave it to dry. It's, it's fine already. It's uh -huh. very, very easy. This is actually very easy. Oh, okay. This is done. Right. So the, the next soup step... is boiling already. Yes. So we'll pop so in just, our... So just now we boil the soup for about... Just about three minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we'll pop in our EB prawn paste. Right, this is really good. Just pop it in like this. Oh, that's really yeah. easy. Ooh, my, my spec is getting foggy. <laughs> <laughs> so just that. So yep. this prawn paste, right, is mm. already seasoned. Yes. It has right. its flavor already. Mm. Um, it tastes really, really crunchy, really, really nice. Mm. And this is something that we want to look for in prawn paste or in prawns also, right? Ah. We don't like the mashy, mashy kind of a feel or taste or, on 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 seafood especially. Mm, yeah. Mm. So one thing I can really say and attest is that these are really, really fresh. Otherwise, it will not give you those kind of crunch. Right. Yeah. And just now when we were, you know, sharing the whole range of the eat beef food product, right? Mm. So I realized that this uh, prawn paste, there are yes. three different types. Yes. Right? So this, the one that we're using is the original one. Mm. But we have the Chinese New Year Limited Edition. Yes. 
Okay, the, which is the? The truffle. Okay. Right, and the other one is with the dish roll. Ah. Yeah, I would love to try them also, definitely. I think mm. I can already think of some beautiful dishes that we can go with that also, yeah. Mm. Right, prawn paste, you can steam it on top of tofu, make a very oh. simple dry scallop sauce and just pour it on top. It will be mm. beautiful. Amazing. And fast also. Yeah. yeah fast. Actually, for this soup, right, yeah. um, can I use any of the three prawn paste? You can, um, but I would not suggest to use the truffle for this because it mm. might um, interfere with the sweetness of the chicken soup. Ah, yes. okay. Truffle, as you know, the taste is a little bit strong. Yeah. So for that, I would recommend if you want to eat, uh, I mean, cook the, the truffle prawn paste, mm. just do a basic light steaming. Mm. And if you like, just dip it in some chili sauce. Taste the original truffle. Itself. Ah, yeah. okay. That That'd is a good. really, really good tip. Yep. yep. So we have got a question. Okay, for May... Kim, do we need to heat up the air fryer before using? Mm, no need. You can actually air fry it because the compartment is very small. And because the hot air is circulating very fast inside there, so there's no need to heat it up like an oven. All right? Air fryer is very, very simple. Mm. And we have another question from Kajal. Mm. Can we replace a sea cucumber with abalone? You can, but abalone, put it in, in at the last minute. Huh? Because abalone, if you want to have the crunch, you cook it just for, like, I mean, if it comes in the can run, right? Yes. You just cook it for, just heat it up for two, three minutes, good enough already. Mm. If you cook it for like 15, 20 minutes, it become tough. Yeah. And then when you want it to be soft again, you need to cook for two, three hours and above. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yes. I didn't know that it will become tough, but I didn't know that you can cook it yeah, more to soften it, more. it. Yes. Right, so be yeah. very, very careful, okay? Mm. You can use... You can use abalone definitely, but yes. don't overcook it. Just, I think just poaching it and let it like have a little bit of heat. Yes. And also that it is still very bouncy, you know, when yep. you when you. Or bite you can just it. lie down on the bowl itself, then yeah. just use the hot soup and lay it over, over the abalone. It'll be fine also. Mm. I think that's a yep. great idea. Mm. Yeah. Okay, this is almost done. Right, you can oh, see really it's cooked. Fast. Very nice, right? Also, it's cooked already. Yes, it's done. It was already. like frozen. Frozen yes. to now completely cooked in a soup. That is probably only one minute or two minutes. Mm. Amazing. It's, it's, it's like, I think two, three minutes around there will be good. Mm -hmm. Right. The most important thing, right, is before we add any seasoning, let's just have a taste to make sure that the soup is salty enough or savory enough for us. Mm. So let me just try it out. To me, this is salty enough already, savory enough for me. So this is good. Now, if it's not um, savory enough, feel free to add in a little bit of a um, oyster sauce to, to enhance the, the saltiness as well as the taste. Ah. Not a problem, right? We have got another question. Yes. What is the nice substitute for the oyster sauce? Um, you can use mushroom sauce, those vegetarian mushroom sauce. It tastes mm. very good also. Yep. And mushroom with this is fantastic also. Huh? So another, another ingredient that you can consider is those but, um, canned button mushrooms. Slice it thinly and put it in also. Ah. And of course, if you want to make this even... Uh, 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 a more prestigious dish itself, by all means, adding crab meat and, and things like that also, yeah? Mm. This is very, very versatile. Mm, yeah. It is. All right, let's bring this up to a slight boil. I really love the shape of the, it is uh, beautiful. the leaf. Yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the prawn paste is amazing. Okay, yeah. so what I'm adding in right now is um, potato starch solution, all right? Potato starch? Yes. Now, why um, not cornstarch? No. Uh, why do I want to use potato starch instead of cornstarch itself? Because potato starch is actually thicker and it's easier to thicken up the soup without the soup turning too watery too fast. Oh. Right. right. I think you also sometimes when you um, go over to eat um, um, hawker fare like lor mee or this, mm. certain store, right, even after you stir the, the soup itself, it, the soup is still very, very thick. Mm. But certain store, after you're stirring, it becomes very liquidy. Mm. It's all because of what kind of flour are they using over there. Ah, yes. I think this is a very important tip. Especially, yep. you know, now we have like smaller batches of friends coming to visit, right? Mm. So you can cook a big pot, okay? And remember to use potato starch. Yes. You know, then after which, right, you can keep the soup, you know, in the pot for, you know, the next two or three hours. And when your next batch of friends come, you can reheat it for them. But one important thing is when you use potato starch, your soup will not turn watery. It will yes. still stay silky, you know, very and very thick, flavorful yeah. as well. I think that is a very, very good tip. Yep. Yeah. So now we just add in two beaten eggs, right? Stir them gently and then just pour them in or you stir them. Mm. And I see that we have a request from Marie Tan. Yes. Uh, she's asking if we can scoop the dish in a pot and show. Of course, of course. Yeah. We will plate it up and show it to you. Yes. 
And right, I think our fun. your fans are very, very keen to see like how the prawn paste actually looks like now after cooking. Okay. Yeah. Let me just use one of these beautiful dish. Let's turn on the flame. Turn off the flame. It smells really right, good. You can eh? see now it's kind of a thick. This is what we call a thick mm. seafood soup. I just scoop some of this inside this bowl. Mm -hmm. Pop of this uh, mm. nice things over here, the prawn paste, and of course, let's not forget about our what is cooking inside here, ah. right? Oh, right. It's a dry, very nicely dried or crisp up already. Sorry. Okay, let me just remove them from the pot. Mm -hmm. Right, they are light and crispy now. Mm. Okay. I can hear the crispy yeah. sound. So normally, how do I serve this? Just give me a minute. Put this back again. So while. Well, no, Roland is actually uh, preparing the garnish. What I want to show you over here, right? This is actually the soup. You know, the consistency is amazing. Can we zoom in on the consistency of the soup? Can we zoom in? So it's really smooth and silky over here. You know, and you can see the sea cucumber. Everything is in bite size. And the one that will give you the key ingredient over here, right, is actually our prawn paste. That it looks like this. Let me see if I can point out and show you. This is how it looks like. Exactly the shape of a leaf, and it looks really beautiful. You know, and it's actually in a slapping as well. So it really adds up to the whole festive mood. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, and just now it would probably only take like Very one minute yeah. to get it cooked, you know, while it's still frozen. Right. Yeah. So I just garnish this with a little bit of spring onion. Of course, you can use a parsley, coriander. It's really up to you. A few dashes of pepper. A little bit of a black vinegar if you like. Oh, I love that. Right. And of course, we like to top it up with one of this very crispy bean curd. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is how I like to enjoy my seafood pig soup. Ah. Well, I think it's... What, even without tasting it, right, I can already imagine the kind of texture that I'm getting from this soup already. You know, like from, from the silky, you know, soup, right, to the crispy uh, bean curd. Yes. That itself already has the seafood paste inside. And of course, you know, the, uh, the prawn paste as well. I think it is a simple soup with a lot of texture, you know, a lot of dynamic Yes. Yeah. And the best part is it's super easy to cook. Yes. It's delicious. It's super easy to cook. And trust me, when you present this to your friend, your friend will ask you how long do you actually need to take to cook this. Right? It is that simple and that mm. delicious. Amazing. All right. And actually, when I look at this air fried uh, bean curd mm. seafood paste, right? I think you can serve it as appetizer. Oh, yes. You know? So when your friends are here, right? Just air fry, right? And give them some beer. Yeah. There's uh, alcohol or any drinks, right? And they can go with this already. Yes. Right, you know, while you get busy cooking, you know, the other stuff, you can start feeding them with this. This is so amazing. Yeah, this is this is really nice and easy to cook. Um, it's, it's like a no effort and yet it looks amazingly tau kui, classy. Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. I like that. I really liked it. Yeah. And mm. I will taste for you guys to tell you how it tastes like later, okay? We'll do it at the end of the show. Mm. Okay, so... Roland, we are done with this dish. Yes. I'm going to put it one side, okay? Okay, so, um, you know, as we are, you know, showcasing a dish just now, we can see we have a lot of our friends have already answered uh, to our very first question, which is the which item is EB Foods uh, CNY Limited Edition? Wow, a lot of our smart... Uh, viewers here I have uh, gotten the right answer. So we're going to pick the winner from here, which we will announce it at the end of the show. Okay, so um, we're going to flash the second question right now. Okay. 
So our second question is that EB food product can be cooked from frozen. True or false? This one is very, very simple. It's really a giveaway. Okay, so please like and share this live and comment your answer true or false to the question just now. And you will stand a chance to win the Ting Sum bundle that is worth $34. Okay, yep. So, um, you know, while Roland is actually preparing for the next dish right now, which I'm very excited because I really love this flavor. Okay, which is mala. Who likes la mala? Can we have a show of hand? Who likes mala? You know, I like it. You know, whenever I don't know what to eat for dinner, I will just go to the mala store and just pick my things and just do it. But now knowing that EB food has their own uh, mala wonton and the different ingredients, now I think I can cook it from home. You know, with, I can just train any ingredients that I like. Okay, so while Roland is preparing, you know, I would like to, uh, you know, share with all of you again the amazing Chinese New Year promotions that EB Food is having on Shopee. Okay, so for our fans that is on uh, our Facebook right now, right, you can see on the pin post there's two link. Okay, if you are using your laptop or uh, watching a live right now, you can click on the link. Okay, to go into the EB Shopee page to see all the Chinese New Year promotion. And for those who are using the mobile phone, you can click on another link that's on the pin post. Okay, so during this whole Chinese New Year, right, EB Food is having a lot of amazing promotion on Shopee. Okay, the first one is that we have a lot of different food bundles. Okay, we have for the Tim Sum food bundle, we have for the prawn paste bundle, we have for the hot pot bundle. So all these bundles, right, are specially curated. So, okay, just order to the number of people that you are serving, you know, then just, have, just click a few buttons and you will have it delivered right to your home. Okay, so these are the different bundles. So, each of these bundle, right, is already with discounted price already. Okay, so not just that, okay, for you to enjoy more savings, okay, very special for all Spice and Pens fans, you know, you can actually enter the promo code can we show the promo code now? Okay, this promo code. Apply this promo code and you'll get an additional 5% discount with a minimum purchase of $30. Hmm. Okay, so this promo code, uh, noted it down already, uh, additional 5%. Bu yao wang ji. Okay, and another one is that let's say if you are buying the hot pot bundle, okay, then you can actually top up for a gift with, uh, for a very special promotion that shows the Zha San Miao. Can we have a show the Zha San Miao? What is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. So for people, right, who are steamboat lover, I'm very sure you will know what is this Zha San Miao. So basically, you put in a hot pot, right? You count to three and you will just take it up. Okay? So the usual price of this, right, for two boxes is actually at $9. But then if you buy the hot pot bundle, you know, you can top up for just $2 for two boxes of this. Okay, amazing, huh? amazing Super deal. Worth it. Super, Super worth, worth it. it yeah. yeah, actually apart from hot pot, right, what I would normally do at home is that I will use this when I cook my instant noodle. Additional texture, additional flavor, and it's so easy, it's only sun milk. You know, it goes perfectly with my instant noodle. Yeah, so I'll pass it to you. Mm -hmm. Then the last thing, right, you know, like I mentioned, the most exciting thing is actually the very first ang pao. Uh, that you will receive of the year when you buy EB food, okay? With no minimum purchase, okay? Order any EB food bundle on Shopee, you will receive this ang pao, okay? Within this ang pao, right, you will receive two things. Let me gonna take it out for you. Ang pao, who don't like ang pao, right? I like ang pao. <laughs> so this is actually the DBS digital ang pao, okay? And you, all you need to do, right, is to scan the QR code and you can claim your ang pao already. There are a total of 888 of this ang pao that ranges from $1.88 to 888 Okay, so purchase any amount and you receive this ang pao. So what does it mean? The more you purchase, the more ang pao you get. Yeah. And I hope that one of our fans here, you know, will be the $888 winner. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Maybe we can talk about the next dish. Okay. All right. We are going to do this dish known as mala xiang po. Now, normally, if you just buy the mala sauce outside, right, it will easily cost you six, seven dollars. Maybe now, maybe on offer four dollars per packet itself. Mm. You don't have to do that actually. All right. Mm. For the shrimp wonton from EB, actually, mm. it comes with the mala sauce also. Ah. Right. And I'm going to show you how we can actually use this mala sauce to create the whole dish huh? using all this product itself. Right, a lot of products. I'll go through every single one of them. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, first, we start with the Kyoto Yuba. All right. The first time I use this, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. You know why? Why? Because tauki, uh, normally oh. you have to soak them for a long time mm. to get them super soft. Yeah. And sometimes when you cook them and it's um, not long enough, right, it mm. will become very tough. Mm, that's okay. the last thing we want. Yeah. This, if I were to pop it later, mm. I think less than two minutes or so, it will be super soft and it will absorb all the sauce. Ooh. It is super, super easy to cook. Now, of course, you can use this for a steamboat. You can also use this to make your dessert. All oh, right. I like that. I like that. Yeah. The fuzu. Fuzu. Fuzu yeah, right. yeah. mi. Or, or one of my favorite drinks, right, is barley with this. Right? Oh. We cook this together and then I just blend this, put inside the fridge, ice cold, thick, beautiful. Amazing. Right. And, and I realized vegan. that. Yeah. Oh, it's vegan. Yeah. So our vegan, our vegetarian, Yes. Uh, fans, you know, this is a product that you should look at. And I see that it's actually Kyoto. Yes. Is it made using the Kyoto uh, beans? I guess so. I guess so. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Actually, it looks really, really very premium. Yeah, and I can't wait to taste it. Actually. Yeah, this is really good. All right. Next, we'll look at the flour cheese tofu. Now, this is something that a lot of kids love. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Kids, I'm talking about kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this, I've tried this also and it, it tastes really, really good. All right. Um, normally, I use this just for steamboat, mm. but I've discovered that even if I use the mala sauce to do this, it's mm. fantastic too. Ooh, all right. That's yeah. a new way. And then the, the best part from EB, right, is all this food are actually halal, halal certified. Oh, right? okay. So, this food are not just for the Chinese, for Chinese New Year, but for mm. all our Malay friends also. Right? Amazing. And you can actually try and do it with your style. No problem. You can put inside your curry or mm. even your soto ayam. It will mm. actually enhance your dish a lot. Yeah. Wow, and I really love the shape of it, and I just want Beautiful. to see, yeah. you know, like how it looks like. Yeah. Next, we have the seafood yuba. Same thing also is a halal certified too. Hmm. <laughs> I just saw a message. I think a lot of fans said that Malaysia no promo. Yeah. Um, I wish I can help. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this comes with very nutritious seafood inside also, and. Mm. I don't know why. Maybe it's just that I'm greedy. I, I just love every single one of the product. And this is really yeah. good also. I've tried just air frying this alone. Huh? And it is so crispy, especially with my favorite drink. I will not name my favorite drink over here because mm. they don't pay me to do so. But this tastes very cool with my favorite drink. Ah. All right. This is a seafood yuba. So, seaweed yuba, yes. Uh, so the outside is a uh, bean curd. Yes, it comes, yeah, bean curd skin. And then it uh. comes with a uh, nutrition seafood, I think it's together with the seafood paste inside. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. So same thing also, halal certified, beautiful. Mm. Shishamo, this is, this is, you know the shishamo, right? The Japanese shishamo fish is actually a pregnant fish with a lot of roe. Yes. So this is something like it. I said that this is um, made in nuggets format, mm. right? And it tastes very good also. Filled mm. with fish roe too. Yeah. All right, without further ado, let's start. Okay, well, I was talking just now, I was boiling some uh, lotus roots. Lotus roots, Approximately maybe about 200 grams or so, all right? We just need to boil them for about 10, 15 minutes just to make sure that they are cooked. Is this for the soup flavor or is it uh, more for the texture? More for texture. More I, for I like texture. the crunch of, um, of um, this uh, lotus root actually. And mm. I think that lotus roots, I, just, I don't know, I just love the crunch. Just, just love the yeah. crunch. So forgive me for being selfish, right? Sometimes I like to tend to cook food that I really love. Well, that is pardonable because when we cook at home, we want to cook things that our family likes, what we like to eat. Yeah, so it's, it's fine. Yep. Yeah. So I've just opened up the shrimp wonton with mala sauce. This is mm. how it looks like. Two packets of mala sauce over here. Oh, two packets. Yes, two packets of mala sauce, mm. which I'll be using later. And over here, we have 12 pieces of shrimp wonton. And these mm. shrimp wonton are very good, are very crunchy also, very nice. So I'm just going to drop them in the same water. Mm. So you same, you can water. cook while yeah. it's frozen too? Yes. Okay. So just put them in for about two minutes or so until cook. Right, just put the lid on back again. Let me just clear this aside. Mm. 
you know, when I was like looking at uh, all the EB food products, right? You know, like all this flour, cheese. One of the key things that came to my mind is that they are very kids friendly, right? Yep. Like, you know, not just during Chinese New Year, you know, during your regular days, when you want something that is healthy, you know, that is easy to prepare and something that, you know, when your kids look at it and they're like, mm, mommy, can I have a second piece, right? I think this product looks really, really good. And it's something that, you know, anytime you can, you should have it in your freezer and you can cook it anytime when you need it. Yeah. You know, when you need the extra dish or, you know, when you want to like make an extra snack, Yes. you know, during tea time, I think these are really perfect. Yeah. Or yeah. even when you're cooking your instant noodles, right? You can just pop a few of this in and it's a complete meal already. Yeah, it yes. is. It's just so simple and delicious. Yeah. Maybe a minute or two. Mm -hmm. So back to EB food. Um, no, the, the, the one thing that I've always um, liked about um, EB food, right, is like what I said just now, right, the, the taste is really good. The mm. crispiness is really there. And it's not over seasoned. All right. A oh. lot of um, prepared food out there, there's a lot of sodium inside there, too salty, mm. um, too much um, too much of others inside there. It yes. don't make the taste as nice or as fresh. Mm. But I've tried the wonton, I've tried the prawn paste, and trust me, it's, it's really original. The, the, the taste is really, really good. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Actually, Roland, while you're talking just now, right, mm. you know, we have been talking so much about how much we love EB food. And I realized that a lot of our fans here, you know, they actually have very good testimonial for EB food as well. Wow. You see, like, you know, we have like Priscilla, she say, EB save our time on CNY, easy to prepare and can cook anytime. Yeah. Amazing. It's not just from us, uh, yeah. you know, it's from our real home cooks, you know, who are in the show right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I used to have this kind of thought, you know, I always think that, oh, the, the food that I prepared on my own is always much better as compared to those prepared outside. But EB really um, changed my thoughts to this. Mm. Because to be very frank, the food that they have over here is really, really very, very good. Yeah. Mm. And it saves you a lot of time. And the cost is, is, is not expensive. It's very mm. affordable. Mm. Um, I think they are great value for money and they save you a lot of time. Yeah. So instead of spending time in your kitchen cooking away, you can actually have more time with your friends. Yeah. So there's something that we can I do. I think that is more important. Yep. Yeah. And we have May Kim that says that, yes, this comes in very handy for unexpected guests. Yes, I think that is a very, very good point. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, can I come to your house and visit? You don't want to say no to people, right? And when they are here, you want to be a good host and you want to serve them good food. Yes, you got a very good point there, May. Yeah. Yeah. And the one time is almost done. I'll just like to drop a couple of drops of uh, sesame oil. Why? Mm. Firstly, to enhance the taste. And secondly, when I remove them, then they will not stick together. All right. Ah, that is a really good tip. So, um, Roland, on the yes. box itself, right? Does it share with us what is the cooking instruction for yes, this one time? Yes, yes. Okay. The, so, the, we just follow accordingly. Correct, we'll correct, correct. Yeah. So, just move them around a little bit and mm -hmm. then we just remove them from water. You can place them together with the lotus roots, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to say the size of the prawn is actually quite generous. Yeah, later when you taste it, I tell you, you'll be yeah. amazed. I can, I'm hungry. I can say, uh, to be very frank, the, the taste of this wonton is, is a lot better than those that we actually try at our hawker centre. Uh -huh. And I'm not carrying any flavour to EB food. I tell you, this is the serious truth. The really truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, let me just pour this water away. Mm -hmm. So we have got a question here by Tara that says there are a few suppliers selling EB food in Shopee. Can advise where to buy direct from EB? Yeah. Um, you can actually, uh, you know, on the link. Yes. So uh, Spice and Pens, uh, Jamie on the other side of the screen, you know, she have actually uh, put up the link. So please buy directly from the EB Shopee channel directly, okay? Because that is where you can enjoy all the discount, the $888 digital ang bao as well, you know? And that is also where you can apply the Spice and Pens uh, promo code to get the additional uh, discount as well. Yeah, okay? So this is the link that you see on the screen. You can click on it. Yeah. Okay, next, very simple. Just uh, put in about 60 milliliters of uh, water inside your pan. All right, two packets of the mala sauce. We'll just squeeze everything in. Mm -hmm. 
So Roland, you have one. tasted the dish before, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. So this, uh, the spiciness of this mala, is it like xiao la, zhong la, or da la? Oh, I'm, I'm a big spice lover. <laughs> to me, this is xiao la, but when I see Jamie eating this, right, she actually perspired quite a fair bit. So maybe to her, it's zhong la. But of ah. course, if you want it to be a lot more spicier, you can always add in um, this um, dried chili into this. And ah. if you want to have a more numbness, then just add in Sichuan peppercorn. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yep. Do we have to pound the, the peppercorn or Norm just add yes. it in? Normally, I would like to fry it first until fragrant, then I'll just ah. pound it a little bit yeah, mm. before I add it in, just to release the, the taste here. Yeah. Right. But then if it's too spicy, right, you know, to some of our liking, can we add some sugar? You can. You can you know, definitely. Oh, can you, know your, you know how to cook, huh? Of course. <laughs> la. I'm paying one from chef. Of course, I know how to cook. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah normally, if the food is too spicy, right? Normally, what you do is you just add in a little bit more sugar to mm. balance up the taste. Ah. Okay, let me just throw this away first. Mm -hmm. Right, I did not turn on the heat at this particular moment. I just want to add in the seasoning and flavoring first. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's quite generous in that packet of, uh, I think there are 12 pieces of that prawn wonton, mm. but it comes with two packets of the mala sauce. Yep. You know, like if you like it spicy, you can use the two or, you know, you can actually use, use one if you don't want it so spicy. Yeah, so it's fully customizable, catered for you. Yeah. Yep, can add in. Mm. Because we'll be adding in a lot of ingredients inside here, so I need a little bit need the sauce to be a little bit more savory. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding in like two teaspoons or equivalent to one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Mm. Right? Because of course, if you like it more savory, feel free to add in a little bit more. But mm. my advice is, if it's not salty enough, it's easier to add in more salt. But if it's too salty, then the whole dish is gone. So True. do yeah, do add in bit by bit, right? Yeah. So that's why recipe always says, you know, mm. add like one tablespoon gradually, you know, yes. to adjust. Or to taste. Yeah. Yes. And we have a question from uh, Liz, Lizette. Uh, it looks very convenient to use. How much water do you recommend per pack? Per pack as in... Uh... Uh, I think she is referring to the prawn wonton. Okay, actually the prawn yeah. wonton, right, it is, it's, it's about the sauce. They just want to mix it up with the prawn wonton to give you the mala taste itself. Ah, okay. Right? But with that itself, I, I think... The, the mala taste is fantastic. It's really very authentic. It's, it's mm. spicy enough. It has this very good kick of numbness inside there. Mm. But I think just for the um, wonton itself, it's a little bit of waste, right? That's mm. why I want to add in a few more ingredients, right? Understand, and this understand. how we are doing it. So if I'm just eating the mala wonton, right? So does it mean that I just have to follow the instruction on a box? Yes. So you just need to have a pot of water. Then you just put in the wonton and boil it. Then after you use a strainer and take it up and just mix in your mala sauce. Exactly. Actually, you don't even need to fry it, right? Nope. To be honest. It's just nope. that because we're adding a lot of ingredients, that's yes. why we're applying heat and making sure that everything comes together. Yes. But of course, if you just want to eat like mala wonton on its own, it's very easy. By just poach it yep. and just mix the mala sauce. No frying. Just need the saucepan that you use to cook your instant noodle. Okay? Yep. So now we turn on the heat, right? Also added in one tablespoon of dark soya sauce just to make sure that the color is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while we're waiting it to boil, let's open up the, the rest of our ingredients. The seafood you buy. You can use as much or as little as you want. I mm. think I'll be using around the region of our five or six pieces. Mm. Oh yeah, I realize all this yes. we don't need to uh, boil it first. No, you just, can just cook, just cook it like yeah, that. Yeah, two minutes, three minutes inside the pot, good enough. So that's why I say about TV food, right? Super convenient, easy to cook and super delicious. Mm. Right? I mean, who don't want that, right? Yeah. And, and all this, again, they are cooked while they are frozen. Mm. You know, you don't have to spend time thawing it. Okay. So yes, that is the answer for our question. And you can <laughs> win our, what do you call it? Our Ting Sam Bundle set. Okay, please like and share our video right now. You know, and put in your answer in the comment box and you will send a chance to win our Tim Sam Bundle. Hmm. Okay, turn up the heat. Oh, this is how the Yuba looks like. Yes. Ah. Because now they are semi-frozen, so it's like more or less the whole chunk is together. But when hmm. you cook it, it will actually separate out on its own. Ah. And it's super nice because it will absorb all the beautiful sauce hmm. inside there. Wow, right. you really saves us a lot of time. Huh? You don't need to soak it and you can just cook it immediately. How exactly. amazing is that? Exactly. Right, so now this is boiling already. You add in our seafood yuba. Mm -hmm. um, maybe four, five, five, six pieces. Just put it in like this. 
right? As you can see, they are almost rock solid. Huh? Mm. Just put it in. The cheese tofu too. Just put them in. How much, how little is really up to you. How we can show our fans how the flower looks like. It's very oh, yes. pretty. Right. Yeah, can we zoom in and show our audience how the flower looks like? Yes, you see? Wow! Sakura, Sakura! It's very funny, look at yes. it. Yeah. And these are the small things, you say? Yeah. Yeah, these are the small things. I mean, food will be boring if everything looks the same, right? Correct, exactly. And now we have a small fish. <gasps> nian 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 yu yu. Exactly. Oh, you took the word right out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice little nuggets, shamo, right? Oh, that's yeah. really cute, really cute. So just cute. put a few of this in. Wow. Actually, I can use this for steamboat as well, right? You can, you can. You well, can. imagine having yeah. this on your dining table during Chinese New Year. Yuba, just pop it in. Mm -hmm. And if you like, you can add in your favorite greens or so, right? I'm using Ti Huang Miao over here. By all means, you can use uh, whatever greens like uh, your cabbage or whatever that you like. Okay, this is something that I like to use. So mm -hmm. I put it in. Now we just need to put the lid back on and let this cook for approximately two to three minutes. Oh. Simple, right? And, and now, everything is frozen. We yes. put it in and just two to three minutes. Yep. And with this two to three minutes, we'll let Pei Wen talk to you about what EV is uh, <laughs> providing on Shopee right now. <laughs> okay. Advertisement time. <laughs> let me see. If every if most of our friends over here have gotten the correct answer. Choo, 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 choo. Oh my god, we have got really, really smart fans over here. Very, very good. Yeah. So while the thing, you know, while our food is boiling over here, you know, I would like to share again, you know, what are the amazing promotion that EB Food is having on Shopee, exclusively on Shopee only, you know, for this Chinese New Year. All this promotion are limited time offer. You know, some of the offer will end on 31st January. Okay, some offers will end on the 15th February. So faster finger first. And actually one of the things, right, uh, one of the tips, because I actually work a lot uh, and I talk to a lot of home cooks. Uh, one of the tips, right, that I actually, um, uh, one of the tips I actually received from the home cook is that always buy your Chinese New Year ingredients earlier. Yes. You know, and put it in your freezer. So like what my mom does or even my auntie does is that, you know, at this point of time, right, they have already went to the wet market and get the best fish to get the biggest prawn, you know, and, you know, buy all the frozen product, the buy EB food product, okay, and put it in the freezer. So when it's near Chinese New Year, right, you don't have to kanchong because a lot of times, right, when you last minute go to the wet market and buy your prawns and whatnot, right, you probably buy the smaller size one already, okay? So what I would really encourage all of you to do, right, you know, after this show or even now, you know, just click on the link in the comment box, Go into the EB Shopee food channel right now, okay, and place your order, okay? Minimum, when you purchase $40, it will be delivered free to your home, okay? And all you need to do now, right, is just to clear up your freezer, okay? So it has space for the new things, okay? So, uh, is the food ready or can I continue to talk? Oh, continue, please. Ah, I okay, mean, I, I love mean. to talk. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yes. The, on, when you go into the EV Shopee channel, right, you will see that there's a lot of different bundles. Okay, we have the dim sum bundles. We have got the prawn paste bundle as well. We have got the hot pot bundle. Okay, all these bundles, right, are good for two to six packs. You know, so you just have to count the number of people that you are serving on the day itself, right, and just buy the specially curated bundle. All these bundles, right, are actually uh, discounted in price, really, like what you see over here. You know, this hot pot bundle, two to three packs, Original, if you buy like one by one, right, you know, it's, it's going to worth $40. But now if you buy the bundle, it's only $32.80. And one thing that I'm looking at this bundle right now, right, is that it's not just the food. Huh? You know, it comes with the laksa soup base and even the suki sauce as well. Wow, I think this is really, really very thoughtful. You know, you don't need to think about sauce. You don't need to think about the soup base. Everything is there and delivered to you. Very, very convenient. Okay, so these bundles are already discounted already. Okay, for all our Spice and Pants fans, you know, you can apply the promo code, okay, which is EBFOSMP, okay, and you can get additional 5% discount off your purchase. Okay, so if you are already, you know, someone who uses Shopee very often, right, can you stack your promo? you know, with your Shopee code and all this? The answer is yes, okay? So remember to take down this promo code and remember to apply it when you check out, 
Okay, then the next thing that I want to share with you is that when you buy hot pot, you know, you can actually uh, top up just $2 for Zha Sa Miao. Okay, which is the pink curd roll. Originally, it's $9, but now you buy two boxes, it's only $2. Okay, remember to grab it. Remember to grab it when you buy your hot pot bundle. And last but not least, okay, we have our ang pao, which I want to really, really emphasize this. This is only limited to 888 uh, orders. Okay, meaning to say, this is sure winner. Meaning to say, I would say, uh, click today. You know, buy your EB food pack your bundle today okay and you will get this ang pao every at any amount you'll get this ang pao okay minimum minimum you will show win one dollar and eighty eight kuai pa mao pa zui sao dui na dao okay but the more you purchase it increases your chance you know to get the liu pa pa ang pao or the pa 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 ang pao amazing isn't it there are so many promotions stacking on top of one another so the more you purchase the more value you will get you know the the more happiness that you will get, you know, from all this value that you're getting from us. Okay, so if you have a bit of time now, click on and make a purchase. Or if not, you know, continue with our show. I think our dish is ready. Yep. Let's take a look. All right, so yeah. um, most of the ingredients are already cooked. So all I have to do right now is just to add in the, um, the wontons as well as the lotus fruits. Right, just put everything in. The smell is really, really good. And I like yeah. the color that I'm seeing here. All right. You know, it's really red. A little bit of wow. a sesame oil. It smells really good. Let's just mix them up really well together. Lightly, gently. All right. We don't want to break them. And most of the time, I like to flip my work. But today, with this beautiful lady next to me, in this beautiful dress, I don't want to do so. <laughs> <laughs> my splash onto you. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to thicken the sauce up a little bit. Okay. Can you use cornstarch solution or potato starch solution like what I'm doing right now? Just a little bit will do. All right, mm. just to thicken that up. Okay. This will be fine. Stir them up. Make sure they're coated well. Okay. Now we are almost done. Mm. Turn off the flame and add in one handful of uh, peanuts right, for the different crunches as, as well as texture. And the ikan bili. Yes. And then we will serve this. Wow. Right. Simple, right? Very, very, very easy. Very, very simple. And I can see that the yuba, which is a tauki, right, has actually opened up already. Yes. Yeah. And it's like so bouncy. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we just put this on the dish. I think it's such a good idea to add the lotus root because when I look at it, right, it's, it's shouting like Chinese New Year at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And trust me, I mean, the taste is really nice. For the kind of price that you're paying right now and the kind of quantity, you look at this and I'm not even using like half a packet of, of, of all these uh, beautiful ingredients that EB is uh, providing right now, right? This can feed a family of six to eight. Really? I would think so, you yeah. know. This is such a big plate. Look wow. at how beautiful this is. Actually, with all the ingredients you can put that you purchase, right? You can cook for two batch of people. Minimum. Yeah. Minimum, Minimum, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at the smoke and the dish. And I really like how you know the, the shape, the flower shape, the fish shape really like adds up to the festive mood. Look at that. Yeah, I you can the see the taste that. is good. I tell you, the taste is good. Yeah, later yeah we'll do I a can't wait to taste, taste it. Test, yeah. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> I'm very hungry. I haven't had dinner. All right, very fast. Yes. One more dish to go. Yes, we got Let one more dish to go. Okay, I shall put this aside first. It looks really good. Yeah, the color is very nice. Okay, it's very, I would say, very Instagrammable as well. <laughs> yeah, really good for photography. Gonna put it by the side. Okay, let me see if we have any questions. Oh, I think a lot of our fans here are saying that, you know, the, uh, the deals that EB Food are giving us today is amazing. The colour is very pretty. Good food and with ang pao. Yes! Please order and get the ang pao. It's only limited to 888. It's the very first order, okay? Please don't miss it.
Okay, you know, if you missed it right after this show, I'm, you know, when I'm on my way home, you know, I'm very sure I'm going to buy a bandana. I'm going to take out one of the ang pao. Okay, so please do it now. Yeah, so uh, we have got a question from uh, YT Ng. How long does the promo code valid for? The promo code uh, that is for Spice and Pants fans, which is the um, EBFO S&P, that promo code will valid until 31st of January. Okay. Uh, to apply this promo code, right, you need to have a minimum of $30 purchase. Uh, it is not limited to the number of purchase. Okay, not limited. Okay, so anytime you purchase before 31st Jan, you can apply this code and get the 5% off. Okay, so don't miss that. Remember to stack your promo. Okay, and actually that's the thing, you know, when we do like online purchases, it's not just about the convenience, you know, like it's also all the deals, right? You know, all this, uh, you know, partners and brands are giving us and giving us a lot, a lot of value. And I think we should really make full use of this during Chinese New Year, you know. So while we want to like really enjoy the festive, we want to make sure that, you know, we also keep our food, you know, at a very affordable cost so that we can enjoy, you know, more food with more people coming to our place as well. Yeah. So this is the dish. Okay. Later, I will try and let you guys know, you know, how yummy it is. Okay. And it's actually so easy to cook, you know, just feel free to place your order on Shopee right now, you know, and you can taste it for yourself. I think that's the best testament for it. Yeah. So, um, we are, you know, while yep. Roland is actually preparing for the second dish, okay, I would like to launch the third and last question of the day. Okay. So, you can see on the uh, rolling credit right now, the question is, what is EB's exclusive gift with every purchase on Shopee? A, cooler bag. B, bowl set. Did we even talk about it? C, DBS Digital Ang Bao worth up to 888. Uh, yeah, this is actually a giveaway question. You know, like all of you should be able to answer it right now, you know, because we've been talking about it and we have our fastest finger, which is Evelyn Tan, who have given us the answer. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I mean, our, 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 our viewers, they are, they are really fantastic. I mean, I, I remember when I was in school last time, right? I'm yeah. not even that attentive. Mm. My teachers have to ask me like four or five times, what is one plus one? What is one plus one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, times, times have changed. Yep. Yeah. Shall we prepare the sauce for the next dish? Of course. Let's okay. go. Can you tell us what is the dish that we are cooking? Yes. Yeah. So the next one is very, very simple. Um, not much of a cooking required. All right. We'll be using the tiger prawn roll. All right. We just need to... Okay. We... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hide and seek. Okay. Over here. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> so, so we, we, we will be just air frying this because this tastes great on its own. All right, this really tastes very, very good on its own. So, what I'm going to prepare to, to go along with this dish is a beautiful fruit salad. Right? Why a fruit salad? Because we want something a little bit sweet, mm -hmm. a little bit savory, and a little bit sour. Mm -hmm. All right, to match this beautiful crispiness that we'll be having. Okay, amazing. So, um, let's just put this one side first. This will be pretty fast. Okay. Let's just prepare the sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll need the chopping board. Okay. Mind. Okay. I like how Roland is incorporating like, you know, a very Western salad, you know, to Chinese New Year. I think it's always like, you know, while we have all our meat la, steamed and all that, sometimes we just want to have a little bit of like change of taste, but, you mm. know, a little bit of acidity, things such as like salad, right, to actually freshen up, you know, our mouth. Yeah, so I think adding a salad and, you know, of course, using the tiger prawn, I think this is a really good addition, you know, to your whole Chinese New Year feast. Yeah. Just wash my hands a little bit. We mm -hmm. need to be hygienic. Okay. Okay. Right. We need some lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Just roll it a little bit uh, so that it's easier for you to actually squeeze out the juice in a while. Yeah. Let's cut it into half. All right. My hands, I've already washed them. So just squeeze it out as much as you can, the juice. If you like it to be a little bit more um, tangy, you can actually squeeze a little bit more, I mean, or use the whole lemon. Uh. Mm. But I'll be using very plain yogurt, plain yogurt. So, um, I think half a lemon would be good for me. Two or three teaspoons of the clean yogurt. 
So can we use Greek yogurt? Yes. Plain mm. yogurt, Greek yogurt, no problem. Ah, now, of course, yes. if, if your kids like a little bit sweet, you can always use those flavoured um, yogurt like blueberry, strawberry, no problem at all. Mm. Yeah. We need some honey for that beautiful sweetness. Equal amount to the yogurt that we used. Mm -hmm. So it's three teaspoons of this. Now to bring out the taste, we need a little bit of salt. Just a pinch will be fine. Mm -hmm. Let's mix this up and set this aside while we prepare our fruits. Now, feel free to use any salad sauce that you like, all right? This is mm. something that I like. I don't like something that's too creamy, neither do I want something that's too sweet. Mm. Right? I, I prefer the sourish taste. Mm. So this is something that I really like. Yeah. So this will be a really nice appetizer. Yes. Right. So with this done, let's air fry the prawn roll first. All okay. right, let me just so we are open done with up. The, sauce. the sauce really. Very okay, simple, right? very, very simple. <laughs> So this is how it looks like, the tiger prawn roll. Mm -hmm. It tastes really, really good. Can we use mayonnaise? You Let's can, you can. can. Mayonnaise right? is very creamy. Um, mm. If you like that creamy taste itself, you can definitely go with mayonnaise. Mm. But I would suggest also squeeze a fair bit of lemon juice inside there because when we want something um, that is deep fried, especially if you want to deep fry them, right? You want mm. something that can cut through the fat. Ah. So we want a little bit sourish on our salad. Mm. Right? So that's what I'm going for. Okay. So this is how it looks like. Very beautiful, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 pieces over here, good for a family of, if you want two pieces each, family of five, mm. right? Otherwise, you can fit 10 of them. Mm. I'm going to use two packets, right? Mm. Because I really love this. Huh? Is this like full prawn inside or these are like, I think what is the texture yeah. inside? It is, it's very crunchy also with mm. a very nice savory taste and it's it got this very sweet um, prawn taste inside it. Ah. Yeah, sea prawns if I, yes. Okay, yep, so there are, so I can say that there are big chunks of the tiger prawn. This is tiger prawn, right? Yes. Oh, tiger prawns are good. So there are big chunks of tiger prawn inside. They are pre-seasoned already. Yep. Yeah, so it's, it's actually very, very convenient. Very simple, yes. Yeah. And actually, just uh, quite big, you know, if I were to like just use my hands mm. as a comparison. You can take a look. Yeah, this is really real. You can see. Yeah. And there are like 10 pieces of this in a single box. Yeah. Hmm. Really very good. simple. Yeah. So all I have to do is just pop this inside my air fryer. Of course, you can deep fry this if you want to. Very simple, four minutes or so at 200 degrees Celsius. You just need to brown them up. Very, very easy. And you can see that they're actually frozen. They're eh? all frozen. So at any time, right? Anytime your friends come over, just feed them, right? It's so easy to feed them. You don't have to wait for the products to be thawed or things like that, right? You can just Pop everything in your air fryer, you can deep fry them, it's really really up to you. Of course, um, if you do not want to clean up, uh, air frying will be a much easier and better choice. Mm. Yeah. Do we need to like spray oil on it or it um, just... normally I don't, yeah. You normally don't, I don't. Right? Because mm. basically when they make this skin, right? The, the we call it more young skin, right? Mm. It's actually um there's a very thin layer of oil onto it already. Oh yeah, so okay. that's why you can see just now when the um the, the bean curd that we, we did just now, right? It actually mm. browned beautifully. Right. Right. So we're going to use two packets of this. Yeah, maybe 12 pieces, 14 ah. pieces. Yeah, okay. I think that'd be good enough. Mm. Yeah. And this recipe is actually good for... Yeah, for, for a family of... Four. Depending on how many you want, actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah, if you're a big eater like me, right? Um, I think for, for a box, for my family, just nice. I mean, my, my domestic helper, myself and my wife, I would normally take about five pieces. Mm. The uh the rest five pieces will be shared between Jamie and my my mate. So ah. I'm a bit greedy, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Good food. We usually eat a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just pop this in the air fryer. Okay. And how long is going to the air fryer? Four minutes at 200 degrees Celsius will be good enough. Oh, four minutes. Yeah, Very four or five minutes will be good enough. Yeah. Okay, well, this is done. Let me just clean up the mm over here and we can prepare our fruits. Mm. So just now, right, we were sharing with you like how convenient it is to cook with EB food. So it's okay, you know, if you're a beginner home cook, you know, it's fine. You don't need to have any knowledge to actually prepare EB food because all the instructions are actually available at the back of the packaging. You know, be it the wonton uh, mala that we prepared just now or any of the, uh, you know, the 
the, the cheese, flour, nuggets, and everything. All these have instructions, so they are very, very easy. You don't need to be a seasoned home cook to prepare all these uh, ingredients from EB Food. Yeah. Yep. All right, fruits. Now, you can always use um, whatever fruits that you want. Um, what I'm going to use over here, we have a rock melon. I'll be using rock melon. I'll be using strawberries as well as blackberries. All right. Uh, if we can, can we see that? Yeah. Okay. You can use any fruits that you want. You can use apple. You can use pear. You can use peaches. No problem. All right. Mm. It all depends on you. I like it because I like the combination of color. You can see, right? We have a very ah. beautiful yellow over here or, or light orange. Yes. Then we have the blueberries, we have the red from the strawberries. These are beautiful. Mm. Of course, you have to you have to wash your fruits first. All right. Just take out the petals over here, or rather the leaves. You just cut them into sizes that we want. All right, half and perhaps half again. So something like this would be good. Use as much or as little as you want, the, the, the fruits, right? There's no hard rules to this. If you like fruits, then do more, do more of the fruits that you like. Roland, when you buy fruits, right, mm. is there like a, like especially when you buy melon, do you have yes. any tip on like how to choose the sweetest melon? <laughs> <laughs> because that is always like my, uh, the hardest thing for me to do, yeah. you know, because I hear tips about oh, when you buy melon, right, you must actually look at, you know, the... Yeah, the back is up, when the it's line. on the ground, the lines, yeah. Correct, correct. Like, um, do you have any tips For, for, for me, it's, it's, sometimes it's a hit and miss, uh, pre-COVID time, all right, pre-COVID time, because I love melon, uh, I, yeah. I really love melon. Pre-COVID time, what I do is I would like to sniff at the melon. I like to have this very nice fragrance coming out and mm. it must be heavy. That means mm. it's full of juice. And ah. then for me, that is a good melon already. Right, yeah. right. So, is it the same as for watermelon as well? Water for melon, any type of melon? Okay, for watermelon, you have to look at the underneath of the skin itself. Um, right? You will you don't want the whole melon to look green. All right. Mm. You want part of it to look a brown, the part where it actually touches the ground. So that means it's on the ground, it's ripe enough before they took it away. If the whole thing is green, that means they pluck it, but it's not that ripe. So it's not that sweet. Oh. Yes. Simple? Simple, right? <laughs> okay. Very, very good tip. Yeah. Because sometimes you're buying melons, it's like, you know, like buying a surprise box. Like you just yeah. buy, right? Like not, not knowing like whether it's just sweet or not. And when you taste it, it's not sweet, you get a bit disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Roland, how long have you been cooking? How long have you been in the kitchen? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I think for the longest time, um, okay, my dad likes to cook for the family. Okay, my dad mm. used to be a chef. Um, he loves to cook for the family. And I think since the age of six or seven years old, my brother and myself has been always tasked to help him out. Ooh. Yeah, as a sous chef in the kitchen, six. right? Cutting and stuff like that. Of course, we get burned along the way. We cut ourselves along the way. Mm. Uh, we get scolded along the way. But I think it's good because my dad yeah. always tell me one thing. Uh, the, the thing to to keep a family happy, right, is to eat together, mm. all right? And eating together means they must appreciate your food also. So my, my dad makes a point that the guys in my family must know how to cook. So, right, and my brother can cook very well too, my brother. Right? Ronnie, oh. if you're there, hello, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> nice. Okay, the our, I think most of our fans over here are ladies. You can actually quote... You know, like this, uh, what Roland have said to your husband so that you get them more involved in the kitchen. Yeah. You know, like be it helping you to wash the dishes or to cook anything. Yeah? Yeah, because my mom also said the same thing. My, you, you know, during when we were very young, right? Um, even before our teens, uh, like we are seven or eight years old, my mom always make it a point that my brother and myself have to take turns every day mm. to clean the floor, to mop the floor, to sweep the floor. It make it a point that the men in the household must also do housework. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I think that's very yeah. important. Yeah, that's very it is important, very yeah. important. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like ladies these days, I mean, be it we are be it women who are working, be it women who are, you know, like a stay-at-home mom. You know, we actually have got very, very yeah. busy schedule. And, you know, our schedule a lot are, really depends on what our family are doing, what our children are doing. And actually, housewife is not easy. It's really, tough. It's, it's tough. really, really yeah. tough. So it's, it's really important you know, that our husbands, you know, also come in and help out with the house chores as yeah. well. 
Yeah. That's why uh, when you, you always remember this song, right? Uh, when we were young, there's always this song, you mama how there's no such song as you papa how there's no such song. Like. True. Yeah, because there's a lot of sacrifice that's being made by the woman in those days and even right now also, right? Yes. I mean women need to need to work, they need to feed their family, they need to cook for their family, and that's where Evie comes in, right? It makes their, all this hard, all these ladies work so much easier. And for gen, for guys like us also. I mean, mm. anyone and every one of us can be a master chef if we are creative enough. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah, so yeah. this is almost done. So now with EB food, right? Our man, our husband, you have no reason to say you do not know how to cook. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Everybody can be a master chef with EB food. <laughs> oh, so as we are talking, the salad is almost ready as well. And I hear that our air fryer has actually mm. stopped, and I think our tiger prawn roll are ready. Yep. Yeah. Let's just transfer this to a, another bowl. Mm -hmm. Just cut this over. It's a bit heavy, the bowl. <laughs> our dish is almost ready, and that means that our last question, you know, for you to participate is also ending. So remember to like and share this video, you know, and input the correct answer into the comment box. You know, and one of the winners was then a chance to win the hot pot bundle that is worth $40. Yeah. It's going to be a, if you win this, it's going to be an amazing start, you know, to your whole Chinese New Year celebration. I'll just um, brown it a little bit more. Okay. Because of the amount that I put inside there, I guess. Yeah. Mm. So let me just clear. Whatever is over here, and we can have our tasting in a while. So, do we have any questions? For Roland from the floor. Mm. We have a question from Annie Chiu. Let's take a look. We cannot use other Shopee vouchers with yours. Okay. Uh, yes. If you so uh, on Shopee itself, right? Sometimes they will give you different kind of vouchers, a dollar off, two dollars on all this. You can actually stack it up with our promotion so that you can get more value, you know, out of the promotion. So meaning to say, for example, when you want to check out our bundle, okay, you can input the Spice and Pants special promo code, which is EBFOSMP. Then on top of that, you can stack it up with your Shopee vouchers as well. So you can get more discount. Okay, yes. So this is the promo code. Take it down. Remember to apply it. Okay, when you are checking out. Yeah, and remember, buy, you can actually purchase to $40 and you'll be entitled with free delivery. So when the EB food, right, comes to you, you know, it, because they are all frozen, it will come in a cooler box. So you make sure that the ingredients is as fresh as possible when it reaches you. Okay, so remember to purchase $40. And I want to shout about the Ang Pao again. Okay, so purchase, be the first 888 uh, orders that we get from Shopee, on Shopee only, eh? okay? And you will receive a Sherwin Ang Pao that ranges from $1.88 to $888, okay? So be, be the first 888 orders. And I would suggest buy it today, buy it today, you know, and have all your EB food bundles delivered to you in the next couple of days, okay? Right, to avoid disappointment, Click, 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 click. I, I think, I think the deal today is really fantastic. Yeah. Right, especially with the additional five percent for our followers, uh, for our viewers, and for our supporters over here. I think that's really great. Mm -hmm. And coupled with the Ang Pao itself, if you're lucky enough to win triple A, please do drop me a message and buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and we have got a question from Kajal. Kajal is a mega fan of Roland. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, Kajal have been, uh, you know, I have actually did uh, a couple of live with uh, Roland before and mm. Kajal is always there. So thank you very much for thank your you. support and joining us every time. Yeah, so which bundle is Chef Roland's favourite? Ah, oh, I'm a very greedy person. If you ask me, I'll buy every single bundle itself. Because to me, right, this is it's about cooking various different dishes. It's, I'm, I'm not just satisfied with making one dish, right? Mm. I always love to pamper my friends, pamper my families. To, to me, I'll buy every one of them. I mean, mm. we have the hot pot, um, hot pot um, package, which mm. is very good. I mean, for, for a simple cook-off at, at your place um, to, to, to enjoy with your family, just a chicken stock or mm. mala stock, and then you can just have that easily also. Mm. Now, I love, I love also their um, black gold. The, the prawn paste and things like that also, yeah. right? So there are various different packages over there. Um, now, if your fridge has, has, has the space, 
I would really, really advise, don't try out everything. <laughs> don't try out everything. Uh, yes. For me, I'll do so. La. For me, definitely, I'll do so. Yeah. Yeah. Me too so, as well. Yeah. Me too as well. Yeah, yeah because actually, uh, after watching all the demo here, right, my brain, because I enjoy cooking, I love being in the kitchen, my brain is really thinking about what are the other things that I can already cook with the EP food. So for example, right, the prawn paste itself, you know, it's, it tastes really good already. But actually, right, in my mind, what I'm thinking is that actually I can wrap it using some wonton skin and actually deep fry it. Right? Good idea, right? Or... What else can we do with it? I think with the prawn paste, uh, you know, we can actually add in some minced meat, for example. Just thaw it first. Add in some minced meat and make your own shoe mine. Hmm. It's not just Chinese New Year. You can eat it at like any time of the year you want. Okay? Right. Let, let us just plate this. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can plate this however way you want to. It's always advisable to take a little bit of the fruits with the tiger prawn roll over here. I can hear how crispy the tiger prawns yeah. are. Amazing. And this almost like a zero effort thing, right? You, you have seen just now, I cut up some fruits. Mm. I've mixed um, just the salad together, the yogurt together, mm. and that's it. That's it. It's a very, very simple. To so do easy. kind of this, yeah. I like the color. Yes. On the tiger prawn, the bean cut skin. Yeah. It's like golden brown. Okay, golden brown is really, really nice. Very crispy. Yeah. And within each of the tiger prawn roll, right, you can see that there is a, it's a really pre-mixed, you know, there are some like the spring onion that's really inside. What are the red uh, prawns. Oh, the prawns. prawns yes, the carrots, prawns. I believe. Yes, yes yeah. carrots. So itself, the, the prawn, tiger prawn roll itself is already very wholesome. Mm. You know, and now in addition with the salad, right, it's, I mean, I haven't tasted it, but I can really imagine the taste in my mouth already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can start tasting. Mm -hmm. Can we, let's look at some of the questions. Yes. Oh, Chris, Chris, looks crunchy. It is very crunchy and I'm going to taste it right now to show it to you. Jasmine, I can hear the crunch. Yes, you got very, very sharp ears. We got a question from Priscilla. Hi, can I deep fry because I don't have an air fryer? Definitely can. Deep frying is actually what I love to do also, right? Um, because the cleaning up, I don't do a cleaning up. But deep frying is, is a way of um, getting the, the full color, uh, very even color on it. And of course, um, oil, with oil, definitely it'll be slightly juicier than air frying. Mm. Yeah, but today what I'm trying to do over here is to show a fast free, right? You don't have to clean up the kitchen, you can look glam also, like her, right? Standing over here and just mix up the products and then just having a beautiful lunch or dinner together, right? Mm. So this is something we have to do. Yeah. And we have got one more question from Yue Ling. Will this live be available after today? I would like to watch and follow the tips to prepare the dishes again. Yes, so this live... You know, we will not take it down from the Spice and Pants Facebook. Mm. You know, please feel free to watch it as many times as you like. And also, please stay tuned on the Spice and Pants uh, Facebook as well because we will be launching each of the recipe on our page. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. Okay. We got a question from... Let me see. Nice presentation. Thanks, William, for this demo. Love it. Thank you, Edmund. Thank you, thank you, Agnes. <laughs> thank you so much for, for, for watching. Seriously, I mean, without without the motivation from, from all of you over here, I, I don't think I'll be doing this like forever. Mm -hmm. And I plan to do this for another 5, 10, 15 years. All right. So I hope to see everyone in every one of our live videos, our live shows and things like that, right? Mm. Yeah. And I'm sure if you have been following Ro uh, Spice and Pants Facebook or even like Jamie or Roland's mm. personal page, right? You will see that they are actually attending a lot of cooking classes these yes, days. Yes, yes, yes. Making yes. pao yeah. and a lot of different things. So, you know, once they master all these skills, right? I'm very, very we'll sure they're going to share their own rendition of the recipe in yes. their videos on YouTube and Facebook. So remember to like and mm. follow their page as well. Yeah. Okay. Do also comment and let us know what else you want to see apart from the, the normal food video that we do. All right. Mm. I think every single one of the product from, from EB over here can be transformed in a very different dish. Example, mm. sweet and sour, 
right? You can just deep fry one of this, cook a sweet sour sauce, mix it together. Right. right. The mala we have done it just now. You can even do some bracing also, and mm. even for the prawns, some steaming over tofu. That is beautiful too. Yeah. Right. I think mm. nowadays for 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 um for for the general public, right? Right now for for them, it's it's so much easier for them to cook all this gourmet food, as one of my friend put it. Right. Mm. It's readily available and it's so fast and easy to cook. Yes. Yeah. So, exactly. Gourmet food can be yeah. easy. That's all right you're saying. Correct. Right? Yes. <laughs> Just be creative and yeah. Yes, I can't wait. Uh, you know, while you guys uh, you know, like if look at the pin post in a comment box, you know, if you are keen to make a purchase, snap up all the $888 ang pao today, mm. right? Please click on the link and make a purchase today. Okay, so uh, while you are making your purchase on Shopee, I'm going to taste the dish and tell you how good it tastes. I'm going to start with this one. Please. The salad. Yeah. Okay. Let me just get you a spoon. It's easier. Okay. I'm not sure if you can hear, but you know, it's yeah. really, really crunchy. Can you hear it? <laughs> For those who can hear it, can you like have a raise of hands? Okay, I'm gonna taste this. It's the tiger prawn roll. Okay, on the outside, right, it's actually the uh, beancurd. Yes. Very crispy. You know, it's just air fry for about four to five minutes to get this golden brown color. And inside is all tiger prawns. Let me just see. Let me have a taste. Mm. See the prawns? How big a chunk of prawn is inside mm. Right? Mm, I can um, still see the prawn. Yeah. It's not prawn paste, huh? It's actually a big chunky prawns that are inside. Yeah. And you can taste the sweetness of the prawns, the crunchiness of the prawn. Wow, this is... I told mm. you this is good, right? Yeah. I think there is um, chestnut inside. Yeah. Right? I can uh, taste the crunchiness. Yeah, it's very good. And like what you say, right? It's not open season. Yes. It's, yeah. it's light enough yeah. to, to have it with your best... I mean, with your favourite drinks with your best friend mm. and it's good enough to, to mix it with your steamboat and noodles or so mm. right it's not that that kind of overwhelming taste mm. right the season just nice just yeah. nice and especially for all of us right we are going towards like you know a, a healthier lifestyle we want to make like better choices for our food this is really good because mm. it's not over seasoned yeah and when it's not over seasoned right it means that when you cooked it in another way for example making it into a mala you know, it will not overpower your other taste that you're cooking with as well. Forgot to add in our blueberries. <laughs> mm. I love it. Yeah. And the salad is nice, right? Have haven't, you tried the salad? haven't tasted it yet. You got strawberry. It cuts the it cuts the, the, the oiliness, if there's any, right? Mm. It complements very well with this. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's really good. Now we go to the next one. Yep. Next dish. Yeah, we try the mala. I mean, of course, the taste might have gone out a little bit because it's a bit cold right now, but mm -hmm. I think the basic taste is there. Yep. Right? I would suggest that you try the wonton. The wonton is really nice. I love the wonton a lot. You try the wonton first. Okay. Okay, I want to... Okay. And the yuba is also very good. So this is the wonton. It's huge. It's really, really big. Okay, and it's a full prawn inside. Yes. Let me just bite into it. Mm. Spicy enough for you? I love spicy food. Yeah. I'm a big fan for Thai food. So, this spicy level is, um, I would say it's like zhong la for me. Mm. Zhong la for me. Actually, I'm very yeah. pleasantly surprised when I first tried the mala sauce. Mm. Because I... I I don't actually think that a packet sauce can mm. be can have that kind of a numbness as mm. well as spiciness. Yes. Right? And this is really nice. Correct. Especially with... You, you see the sheer amount of food that we have over yeah. here. Yeah. Right? I'm very, very surprised yeah. too, actually. Yeah. I have to say the prawns is very generous. Mm. Yeah. And it's very, very crunchy as well. Mm. Mm. You're right to say that the, the ma taste is really there. Yep. Yeah, and it's not overly ma, not True. overly la. It's really a perfect balance. Yeah, just right directly out from yep. the package. Yeah. Mm. And you pop a can of beer and have it with your beer, I think it's 
Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try the yuba. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, it's so soft already. Yeah. It absorbs the sauce very, very nicely. Right? <laughs> I love it. I myself, to be very frank, the first time when I prepared this, right, I tried the yuba, I was so pleasantly surprised. It's very good. Yeah. And it's so easy to cook. Yeah. You can even find a tauki like this. I mean, sorry for the Hokkien tauki, but yeah. it's really fantastic. I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm. Really, 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 really. Very nice. And the next thing I want to taste is my favorite cheese tofu. Just now, <laughs> Roland said that it's for kids. All right, you're still young, so okay. Yes, I'm still young, <laughs> correct. Okay, I'm very particular about uh, my cheese tofu mm. uh, because I love cheese. I'm a cheese person for people who knows me. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see yeah. if there are really a lot of cheese inside. I'll try it and it's very creamy actually, yeah. Mm. Right. Mm, mm. Mm. Oh, I like this. Yep. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it from the camera, but I'm buying, biting into like large chunks of cheese inside this cheese tofu. And this will be even better when it's hot and then you have melted cheese coming out. Oh my yeah. god. Because the last time when I cooked this at home, right, we have it immediately after I cook it. And when I bite into it, the cheese actually oozes out. Mm. So beautiful. And this one is, is, is in which bundle? The hot pot bundle, right? Yes, the hot pot bundle. I'm so buying oh, it. Yeah. And I'm going to get my ang pao when I and order it. Good, right? Oh, it's very good. Yeah. yeah. And sorry, I want... Sorry, there's so many things <laughs> I want to try. Okay, okay. And this one, this one, the nian, our nian nian yu. Oh, okay, the shishamo. Shishamo. Okay. You can bite, you can have little bursts of surprises coming yes. out right, when you bite into the fish. The roll, yeah. correct. Yeah. So people who are who are fans of my mantaiko, mm. right? So this one has like you know the, the bits of the roll inside. Um, you know the 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 curd itself. Yes. I say the nuggets itself is uh, very nice. The texture yeah. is very good. Yeah. The 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 one thing that actually um, really attracted me to EB food, right, is how how neutral they taste and yet how tasty they taste. Mm. I mean, if, if that makes sense at all, they don't interfere in each other. Mm. They have their own unique taste, mm. and yet it's, it's it has this very nice balanced kind of a feel when you bite into it. Mm. Yeah, so that's something that I really like about them. Yeah. I totally agree, yeah. and I would say, please follow the recipe and try out just these two dishes. Yeah. It's really, really amazing. Yeah, I'm really pleasantly okay, surprised. Okay, this is a little bit cold already, but um, just try a little bit of this. As you can see, right, it's still pretty thick also, yeah, even though yeah. they cool down. So um, I'll get you some... Um... Are you sure? Okay. I still got the... Oh, yeah. We have the pepper. This, and I'll give you one small... This so this is this. the soup. Yes. Yay! So normally our guys love to soak is this. It's still crispy. Uh, okay. Yes, because we have air fried this for quite some time, so it's mm. still as this. Oh, it is still yeah. crispy even after right. it's left in room temperature. Yeah, for okay. quite some time. Yeah. So normally I like to dip this in. Mm. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Help yourself to the vinegar. I don't know how much you like. I love vinegar. Okay. Was <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use this spoon. Please. Just stir them up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It will taste even better when it's hot. Now it's been cooled down for I think like half an hour to 45 minutes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So but I, I bet that you can still taste how crunchy the prawns is. Right? The the, the prawn paste is. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So this is my leaf. Yes, this is your leaf. My leaf, the prawn paste leaf is still in its perfect uh, leaf shape. Okay, it's very beautiful to look at. You know, and I'm sure it's going to taste very good as I'm going to taste for you. Right? It's really good. Right? Yeah. What, what I like about this, uh, I'm, I'm someone, when I eat, I'm very particular about my food. Okay? And what I like about this leaf prawn paste, right, is that it's not just all the minced meat. It's not just all the minced prawn. Okay, it's they actually did it very thoughtfully whereby <coughs> there are large chunk of prawn meat 
within the minced prawn meat. Right, so when you bite into it, right, every mouth is a different texture. So there's a surprise in every bite. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. yeah. And it's so easy to cook. I mean, you just take it out from the freezer, just pop inside your soup, three, four minutes, and it's done. Mm. Right? So this is something that I, I really love it also. Yeah. Mm. I mean, like, you can fry your noodles, add it into your noodles, your braised noodles, your ifu noodles, your bai mi fun, and whatever, your ho fun also. Yeah. Mm. So it's just something that's that's forever crunchy and tastes good. And you don't have this um, um, sing way. Yeah. Fishiness, right? It's, what, it's, what is sing way? I, I sing didn't way even, is fishiness. I, I, fishiness, I, know, I didn't yeah. even like, taste that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anywhere. this is really good. Yeah, yeah. This is really, really good. Yeah, nice, right? That one. So good. Yeah. And it's, I mean, the whole packet is, there's so many pieces inside. Okay, I think, I believe it's like 30 pieces mm. inside there. Mm. So normally, like, let's say, for example, if I cook laksa, mm. right? Mm. I like mm. to air fry this also and then just dump it inside my laksa or even with curry oh also. Oh my god. Let it soak up all the juices, all, mm. all the sauce, right? Oh, fantastic. Mm. Oh, I love this soup. Nice, right? And yeah. it's easy. Yeah. And just like you mentioned that you can add in some yes. chili, yes. some vinegar. Correct. If you want to have a sweet and I mean the um, hot and uh, hot and sour soup, mm. swan la tang, just add in more vinegar and chili oil. Mm. And then just stir them together and it's swan la tang ready. Sweet. If you want to grow um to have a little bit more um seafood taste. Add in mm. crab meat, or you can even add in mushroom, shredded mushroom, shredded chicken meat. No problem. It's just leave it to your own creative imagination. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for mm. cooking today. The dishes are so easy. And I am very sure I can cook this in my small kitchen now because the preparation is almost nothing. Yeah. It's almost nothing. Just take it out from the freezer and just cook it while it's frozen. It is so easy and I can whip out all these amazing dishes. I'm sure my mom will be very proud of me. I think my mom <laughs> is watching the show right now. Hello, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, do we already have the winners? Can we announce the winner? Let me take a look. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, throughout this whole live, right, we have got three questions that we launched. And thank you so much for your participation. And we already have the names of the winners over here already. Shall I get Roland to announce them? Yeah. All right. Um, for the first winner, the EB Food Prawn Paste Madness worth um, $33.70, Mr. Alan Neal. Yay! Yay! So, Mr. Alan Neal, you got the correct answer. Mm. Yes. The truffle prawn paste and the prawn roll. Yes. Prawn like the paste. Fish roll, yeah. The fish roll prawn paste yeah. is the CNY limited edition uh, ingredient in EB food. Mm. Yes. So you got that correct and congratulations. Alan, if you are still here, please wave. You know, please like so that we Thank know you, you are still up. here with yeah. us. Okay. All right. Second winner we have with um, that won this uh, EB food dim sum bundle worth $34.75. Kaja Mulekcha Sunwa, if I pronounce that correctly. Kaja, yes, Kaja. Yes, Kaja is your biggest fan, your biggest fan. Congratulations. Yeah, but, but we are fair, lah. It's, it's, it's a really lucky draw. Yeah, this is like uh, randomly generated. Hi, Alan, you're here. Congratulations. Hi, Alan. Congrats, congrats. And yes. congrats to Kaja. Congrats to Kaja as well. Final yes. winner we have tonight? Mm. All right. Final winner that win this EB food hot pot bundle worth $40. Miss Iris Ho! Iris, congratulations! Iris, are you still here with us? If yes, please say hello, hello, I am here. Yes, Kaja, you are still here. Thank you, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank yes. you so much. Thank you and so also much. Iris as well. Yes. So, thank you so mm. much for joining us and you know participating in our question. We hope that you had a great session today. Yeah, I, okay. I really thank you um, with the bottom of my heart All right, for this one and a half hours that you have been with us. I hope you enjoyed this program um, um kindly assisted and sponsored to us uh, by eb food yes. and uh, do go and click bye, 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 bye. yes <laughs> on shopee only yes. you know go into eb food just now i mentioned a lot a lot of promotion right don't worry if you cannot yeah. remember all of them it's perfectly fine because all the information are available in eb's food shopee page okay remember to stack up your promo purchase mm. now get all the ang pounds that you can soak up all the good deals yes this is the promo code Okay, for Spice and Pants fans, you know, get a 5% uh, discount with a minimum purchase of $30. Apply this promo code EBFOSMP 
you know, and you can get a 5% off your total order. Yep. Okay, and remember to order how much to get free delivery? $40. Amazing. Yes. Okay. And, yeah, and of course, with this uh, promo code, you have this 5% off for $30 and above, right? Yes. yes. And I also like to take this chance to wish all our viewers a very, very um, happy Chinese New Year this upcoming, right? Yes. 恭喜发财,龙马精神,万事如意。身体健康, please stay safe everybody. Thank you, okay. thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, bye-bye. See you soon, bye. bye.